At churches here, thousands of people have come together to celebrate Orthodox Easter. Ukrainians living in Australia say this will be the last year they share their date with Russian Orthodox worshippers. Instead, next year they plan to mark it at the same time as Western Christian denominations. Celebrating new life during dark times. Christ is risen from the dead. It's a day of hope for Ukrainians. The missiles keep flying and falling upon our peace-loving people. Easter's usually a time for family, but thousands of Ukrainians left loved ones behind seeking safety in Australia. It's really hard to celebrate, to feel that joy, because, uh, yeah, I do not know what's happening with my mom now. Marta's friends send her pictures from the front line, showing the danger she and her teenage daughter escaped from. We all together are trying to keep our identity. Uh, we are trying to unite in this uh, hard time. Juliana left her husband behind, fleeing with her mother and children. I have two boys and they needed to uh, have a good education and I think they needed to a good life. This is the second year in a row Ukrainian Australians are celebrating Easter while their country is being attacked. They're praying that by this time next year, the message is no longer about enemies and bloodshed, but about peace. And these orthodox traditions are changing. To separate ourselves even further from uh, Russia and Moscow, it's been decided to adopt the Julian calendar. So from next year, Ukrainian Easter will be celebrated and Ukrainian Christmas will be celebrated at the same time as Latin Easter and Latin Christmas. Both sides are preparing for the next stage of war. The sooner we can use the weapons that Australia is providing and that the West is providing, the sooner we can drive Russia out of Ukraine. An Easter wish, many hope, will come true. Xanthi Gregory, ABC News, Sydney.